We have just arrived here in Bangkok, in Thailand, in Khaosan Road. Um, it has been crazy since I've got here. So many different things and I've just been like, wow, like that's crazy. Like I saw the sign and it was like, um, pretty much saying no Buddha appropriation. I was like, mm hmm, come through, come through, come through. Um, people be driving on crazy sides of the road and just going around each other, no beeping, no road rage. They don't do road rage here in Thailand, so that is, was my first thing that I witnessed. We do it in New Zealand all the time. So my second thing would probably have to be that um, it is so hot. Um, I've got my air conditioning on and I am still sweating and I'm in shorts and a t-shirt. Number three would probably have to be um, the taxi drivers here are crack, crack up. They're like, give me tip, 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 and I'm like, Girl, you gave me a prize, I'm gonna pay you your price, you ain't getting no motherfucking tip, bitch. <laughs> Thank you. I'm so happy to be traveling again um, and to be out on the world and just experiencing life and just going with the flow, you know. So last night was absolutely crazy. If you do go to Bangkok, make sure you at least spend one night in Khao San Road. Um, Khao San Road is where all the backpackers and all the tourists um, hang out and kind of go and party. So there's music from all over, people from all around the world that you can meet. And yeah, it's a good place to make new friends. Um, today we went to the Grand Palace and it was crazy because I didn't get my passport checked because they thought I was from Thailand um, and then I ended up not even having to pay to go into the Grand Palace once again because people thought I was Thai. Um, so yeah girl, flaunt your magic if you got that melanin, you got that versatility with your looks, girl flaunt it, milk your money, milk your money. The palace is definitely a beautiful place to go and see, a beautiful place to experience, a beautiful place to embrace. If you are going to the palace or any of the temples in Thailand, please make sure that you dress appropriately, wear some pants or wear a long skirt, wear a scarf or just a long sleeve top or one that's covering the shoulders, otherwise it's disrespectful to Buddha, to the temple, to the sacredness, to the holiness of the place, so please cover up and don't wear booty shorts, girl. We've just checked out the Grand Palace. I'm gonna have a look around and try and figure out some temples, cook some things, try some food. The dragon fruit, it is amazing. Um, yeah, so just gonna go chill around, have a look, see what's good, and I will catch you up tonight. So, For me, one of my favorite things to do when I go traveling is to explore, to get lost in the streets, to get lost in the suburbs. Um, and to just discover new things. And for me this time, I ended up somehow at a Thai university full of Thai students who were singing, dancing, eating, and just having your normal conversations that young people do. And for me it was great to see um, what it's like to be a youth in Thailand and what their kind of insights are in this day and age. If you get the opportunity or have time to go and have a look at the little cities and towns that surround Bangkok, please do it. I can promise you, you'll love it. For me, I got to go to the ancient city of Ayutthaya and see what it was like back in the days when Siam was the former name of Bangkok. For me as an indigenous person, being able to experience the ancient city of Ayutthaya and all the surrounding temples held so much mana. If you know me, you know that I get down with Mama Earth, I get down with Papa Tuanuku, girl, I am there. We are out here, we're at Etawan National Park. Um, we're just going to the waterfalls and we're going to have a look around, see what's good up in here. I'm so excited, I love nature so much. So um, yeah, I wanted to do something a bit different today. We're going to go see some elephants, go for a swim. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the water. So when I got to go to Edelman National Park, Honestly, it was lit. It was so beautiful. The nature was amazing. The water was so clear. But make sure you're careful of the fish in the water because they got nibble your toes till they fall off, girl. Also went to Kanchanaburi where we went and spent some time with the elephants. Um, for me, it was a space to share love with the elephants and to be one with them in their water and mother nature and um, yeah, just show them some love and affection that they deserve. We're on our way to the Chapa Chuck Market, so we're going to eat Tuk Tuk. Yeah, it's been crazy last three days sustainable three. Um, and yeah, it's Saturday morning, there's not much to 
do, or these are, sorry, these heaps to do. And I'm um, yeah, really excited to see what the markets are like. It's the world's biggest market, so I'm very excited and I will see you guys up there. It's good. Chatu Chuck Market is so damn extra. If you're wanting to get something cheap, definitely go to these markets and barter, barter, barter. There are literally over 150,000 stores in this market, so obviously it's going to take you more than two days, so plan well if you are wanting to see the entire market. There are so many crazy characters in this market, so much life in this market, and things are definitely cheaper than most places in Bangkok. Be aware that this market only happens on the weekends, so make sure that you look out for Saturday and Sunday if you are the queen of shopping. And don't forget to treat yourself. So guys, I hope that you've learned something new about Bangkok. I really, really enjoyed my time in Bangkok. It was such a crazy place. So much to do. So many tourists. That's probably one thing I didn't really like about Bangkok. Um, but other than that, it was an amazing place. Um, I have a few tips to give you guys for your next trip if you're planning to go to Bangkok. Make sure that you catch a motorbike. Motorbikes are the cheapest way to get around in Bangkok and in Thailand in general. So catch a motorbike, make sure you wear a helmet. If you don't wear a helmet, um, you can get fined by the police because it is illegal to not wear a helmet when you are riding, but you will see other people not wearing helmets. But um, they're usually people from Thailand who are okay and can get away with doing things like that. If you're a smoker, if you smoke your ciggies, do not throw your damn ciggies on the ground because if you do, you can get fined once again. Um, the police will come up to you and probably slap you with a 2,000 baht fine, which is about 80 New Zealand dollars, so you don't really want that. Make sure that when you're in Thailand in general, drink the bucket drinks. They are crazy. They're really, really cheap. Just make sure that you don't get too wasted because they can get you on your ass. Make sure that you mix with the Thai people, mix with the locals. They will be able to show you the best night out, um, show you to places that other people don't know about. And it's always cool to meet people from that actual country because you get a more authentic and a more genuine insight of what it's like to be in Thailand. Do not drink the tap water. The tap water is not good. It's not clean enough to drink. It's clean enough to have a shower, but do not drink that water because, girl, you go and be having diarrhea, you go and get some hepatitis, I don't know what the fuck you're gonna get, but don't drink the damn water. I went in monsoon season. Um, if you want, you can go and dance in the rain like I did, but be wary that your clothes are gonna stink the next day. I didn't really notice in other places that rained, it was more so Bangkok and Khao San Road when it rained. It literally just picks up everything off the ground and then just throws it back on you and then you end up smelling like actual shit. So yeah, be wary of the rain. But other than that, Bangkok is a crazy place. If you like parties, if you like shopping, if you like big crowds, if you like um, anything that's out of the ordinary, go to Bangkok. Um, and for those of you that's like to be relaxed, to have, don't like too many people. Stay tuned, I'll be going to the south of Thailand in my next video, and then after that we'll be going to the north of Thailand. So yeah, stay tuned, and I will catch you guys later. Travelling thither, out!